Welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I have a new Disney Store doll to show you. Well, she's pretty new, she came out a couple weeks ago. This is, ding, singing Cinderella doll, and she is gorgeous. I'm really glad that this time when they brought out singing dolls, they dressed them in different outfits to the classic dolls, because obviously if you're a collector, it's so nice to have them all in different outfits and stuff, and I think she looks great. And when I was in the Disney Store buying this doll, I actually ran into someone who watches my videos, who would come over to London for a holiday from Spain, which I thought was really cool, and um, he spoke to me, and it was really nice to meet him. So I didn't ask him his name, so if he's watching this video, definitely comment, please. <laughs> the box is pretty simple. I mean, all the Disney Store boxes of recent years have been quite simple, um, but I quite like it. It kind of accentuates the product, which is what you're there for. There is the Disney Store logo up in this corner. The whole box is covered in this kind of translucent plastic. It goes all the way around to the back. It's a very unusual shape. It's got kind of like a slant in it and a bit that kind of sticks out here. Very interesting. In the background, there's a kind of design. Kind of looks like a castle, I can't really tell. At the bottom, it says Singing Cinderella, and there's the Disney Princess logo. Down the side, there is this uh, kind of outline of Cinderella and her carriage over here. On the back, there is this big picture of Cinderella um, with one of her animal friends, and it says, I sing, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And then on the other side, there are some more pictures of Cinderella. And there's also a little hole in here where you can test out the doll. But I'll show you how she works later. Now that I've shown you the box, I'm gonna take her out of the box and give you guys a closer look at the doll. Okay, guys and dolls, so here she is out of the box. This is Singing Cinderella from the Disney Store. And she looks really nice. I really, really like this doll. They always have their arm twisted the wrong way when they come out the box. Do you ever find that? Anyway, yeah, she's really, really cool. I love her and I am so happy because she has pointed feet. I know that sounds like a bit of a nitpick, but if you watched my wedding Tiana doll review, I'll put a link in the description to that video. They had flat feet and it just really annoyed me. You know, I want the dolls to have pointed feet. I just think it looks more elegant and they look a bit kind of weird when they have flat feet. I don't know why, it just doesn't seem right to me. But I'm so happy, I'm so happy they finally made a doll of Cinderella in this outfit. Let me give you a closer look. So, her face is really, really cute, really nice. I love her blue eyes. I love her soft pink lips. I have to say though, I do always think that Cinderella's face doesn't look quite right to me in the Disney Store dolls. I think it needs to be slightly more round. Only slightly though. Let me know what you think, um, but she still looks really beautiful. She's got a little bow in her hair. She's got this little fringe coming down. And as for her hair, I really like it, although I'm not a big fan of these curls they've glued into it. I'm probably gonna try and brush out this glue, and her hair is very stiff. And it's kind of like, I mean like this bit, it's like all sticking out. Now, onto her outfit, uh, she has a little necklace, and it is actually made out of loads of little beads, which I really like. This is obviously similar to the necklace that the stepsisters rip off her in that dramatic scene. She has this really beautiful bow and this white sash going around the top. Um, she also has a white sash here. And I absolutely love this material that the dress is made out of. It's super sparkly and pink. She's just got a massive twirling ball gown, which I absolutely love. And the bottom half of her dress is obviously white with these little bows on it. And I kind of wish she had some bows on the back because it seems a bit plain back here. But you know, just having the bows on the front is nice. Um, I also kind of wish the material was slightly more floaty and less rigid. But I say that every time I get a Disney Store doll. But yeah, it's not a big issue. And then as for her shoes, she has little flats on. And I think they're quite cute. Again, I'm just really happy she has pointed feet. As for her articulation, she has bendable legs, um, which I love. Uh, and one of her arms is bendable at the elbow and at the wrist. But the other one isn't. And that's because this hand is what you use to make her sing. And to make her sing, you actually twist her wrist, which I'm not that keen on. I kind of wish she just had a button somewhere because, you know, I don't want to be like posing this doll and then have her sing every time I twist this wrist. And it just seems a bit unusual, but yeah. But let me show you her singing feature. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. 
So she just sings a really small clip from A Dream Is A Wish Your Heart Makes and it is a really nice kind of lullaby-esque song. I really like it. I'm really happy with this doll. Please let me know what you think of this doll in the comments. I probably will be buying the Jasmine one they've made and maybe the Moana one as well. So let me know if you want to see reviews of those dolls and I will post them on my channel for you. Please also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will see you very soon doll fans. Bye!